Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday and Merry Christmas. I hope that you had a good week. I really missed talking to you guys this week. Every time I would go to my computer, you know, it was weird not getting as many comments and stuff, but John has been off and it's just been crazy. You know, I, I did get my hair done this week. I got um, highlights and base break. And so next time, I guess we'll get do the color it's just kind of a process to get it perfect um, because it was so dark. You want to kind of get that perfect medium. So I think he did good. And that is what I'm going to start off with today is a hair product that I have been loving. And the first time I think I ever heard of it was from, I believe her name is Elle Bangs. I'll put her link down below. But she lives in California and she does hair and she does videos she does makeup tutorials and all kinds of tag videos and everything but she what i love are the hair videos and she kind of specializes in blonde her hair is blonde and especially if any of you do hair i think it would be interesting just to hear what she had to say um and compare notes and everything i've learned a lot from watching her and she was talking about this product and then i think one day apart brianna sent me the shampoo and conditioner and the company um, got my address to send me the shampoo and conditioner. So, and then <laughs> I ended up buying the oil or the elixir and then they, I didn't know the company was going to send it to me. So anyway, I'm glad that I really like it and it's called, this is what the company just sent me. This, it's called, is it Nanatsu Intense Elixir? And I hope this is the one that she was talking about. I'm going to be embarrassed if it wasn't, but I'm pretty sure it was and it is just amazing okay so this is the oil and it's you use it just like you would you know all the other hair oils that i use but since i have gotten it i have not used another oil at all and then this is the shampoo and conditioner and brianna sent me hers because she was going blonde but then i think she decided to head back the dark the dark way and so this is i think they have shampoos though for every color because when I looked on Amazon, and I'm pretty sure Amazon is the only place you can get it because even, even when the company sent it to me, it came from Amazon. So I'm assuming that's like the main place to get it. But Brianna's sister does hair and she had heard that this was the best stuff to use too. But it this one is for um, firming tone. This is the, okay, Perla Beige, Blonde Pearl. And this is the treatment, which is like the conditioner. And then this is the shampoo. And both of them are... I'm using the other ones now, but both of them are the blue. Soy, I don't know what that means. Soy something. But um, I need to read up and find out how often you can use these because I've been using them. Let's see, have you, I used them last night. I, I used them before my video last Friday, and I think I had used them one other time and then i've used the oil yeah, every left. time <laughs> now i can continue sorry okay so anyway if any of you out there want have blonde hair and want to try this and any of the other colors i'm going to put the link down below but i love it what i can say is different is it does not strip your hair it doesn't make it feel like a lot of the purple shampoos will make your hair feel kind of like stripped or like they um were removing build up or something like that which i really don't so need anyway love these love them if i didn't i wouldn't show them to you but i really do and i will put the link down below and so you can look at the different colors and stuff and um but i love it it fit out to me it makes to it makes my hair feel i don't know thicker or um softer and thicker and um healthier plus you know I'm, i've got the olaplex done again and i don't know if you guys can see this eye twitching but all of a sudden yesterday i was walking down my driveway just do 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 walking down to get the mail and all of a sudden you know when you get something in your eye and it just like hits you and you just cannot even peel your eye open and it even hurts when your eyes shut that's how it was so i went to the mailbox got the mail out came in and went and got in my magnifying mirror and by this time all my makeup was gone my eyelash my false eyelash had come off and i was getting ready to go get my nails done i had a manicure yesterday and 
finally I pulled out one of it was like a fuzzy like I had been wearing I had not even I don't even know what I was wearing yesterday it wasn't I remember thinking it wasn't anything that has had a fuzzy on it but it was one of those long pieces of like fuzzy sweater or something and since then my eye has been twitching and it is driving me crazy it's just shaking the whole time so there's just one of my little drama stories so anyway the shampoo and conditioner two thumbs up and love it so i don't think i've got any duds that i've gotten this week the next thing that i got this week we put up our christmas tree and i love it we got all new i just put up some of my favorite things you know my gnome is new and um john i love the way he put the lights up into the star and i love blue lights for some reason i've just always loved them so he could not find the ones from last year so after we ate one day last week we ran into walgreens and whenever we all go into all green walgreens it is trouble so you know will always picks out candy and brooks always in the makeup and so am i sometimes and so i saw these and they are the maybelline just those same things i like the traditional ones too but these are new they are i believe they're called the iridescent collection and the first two that i got brooke picked out the light pink which surprised me and then i picked out this peachy nude color and i went back last night i needed to get i was wrapping teacher gifts and i needed to get i wanted some Christmassy wrapping paper or tissue paper and I picked up this one and oh, they are just there's one other mauve one that I think would be really pretty too and then there's a red one of course they are so gorgeous and I don't know if they'll swatch I've got this one on today they've got that really cool little applicator but it is the it's not shimmery it just has the perfect amount of sheen so that when you put it over your lips it just gives you that and it even when you wear it by itself it is so pretty and feels really good it doesn't feel this one was messed up but i'm just going to use it anyway my applicator was having issues still having issues but so this is the peachy one but when you put them on they feel like almost like lip conditioners so you can see they have just a little bit of color and this one has i put this on last night when i got home I was wearing this while i wrapped teacher gifts they just feel so good they've got something look at that i love when these colors have like that little blue kind of undertone and it's not it's still sheer when you put it on and i just love them they even they don't smell perfumey they've got this smell to them i don't know it must be an ingredient that some lip glosses have it's not the best smell or the worst smell and it goes away like when you first put it on you can kind of smell it and taste it but you don't you don't think about it again I can't I can't decide what where that smelled that but anyway so if you're out Walgreens is where I found these are in a special little you know cardboard setup and it says new iridescent or whatever pick one up because I don't think you'll regret it they're just they're awesome so I'll be right back and we'll go get this off the last ends up thing on that my I sweater. bought myself this week I got several gifts and stuff in the mail was this I saw Sherry to say Tammy Sherry was talking about this I think she had it in her favorites and when I went in Sephora this week I remembered it it's $25 which I guess that's it's good for a pot of you know good super cream super supreme body butter but I mean it's more than you would spend on lotion at the store but oh my goodness it is amazing it is I did it used it all over myself last night and then when will got out of the shower we had a spa night and i rubbed it all over him because he has the driest skin and it makes him itch like his back will just start itching and he has it real itchy legs so i rubbed it all over him and it says we love it dermatology dermatology dermatologically tested and formulated without parabens it's texture, ultra-rich in shea butter, melts on the skin for intense nourishment without leaving an oily film. That is the truth. It's thick, but it just goes right into your skin, and it does not, it's not like some intense, you know, it's, it's very good. It sinks right in. Can be applied generously for soft, moisturized skin all day long. I really think, I can't imagine anybody not liking this. The only thing 
is if you w don't want something that you do this with. Like I know some people have said stuff to me about blowing on my brush and stuff. I know some people are real germ conscious. That doesn't bother me. And the smell, first thing Brooke one noted, it smelled good because she likes really fragrant things, but it's not. It's more of a just super clean, mildly fragrant, just almost like, I hate to say sunscreen, but it's just that kind of clean. I want to say beachy, but I don't mean like coconutty. I just mean just that clean smell. It just reminds me of the beach and sunscreen or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I love it. So I think it would be a great gift too. I will do that again. I guess I'm on in gift mode still, but um, gift it to yourself because I think you will love it. And a lot of you are in much colder climates that I am and I cannot imagine because the other day this is what led me my cuticles were bad and I looked at my hands I was shopping and they were like just I mean like sandpaper I mean like when I touched stuff I could just feel it like picking my hands were so just dry and everything so um, the girl she asked me she said do you want to wash your hands or you just want to leave the lotion on I was like I'll leave it on I needed it and the color I have on is in that new Gwen Stefani. It's something I parked my sleigh outside or something like that from the OPI Christmas collection. Okay, this is something. This is probably the best. Besides the naked lipstick, I think these are my favorite things I have ever gotten from Girlactic. The other stuff that I got from her, the foundations and um, like face highlighters and stuff, I love those, but I, one, I used the two foundations. I used them in that video that I had to scrap, the one where I was doing my empties. I had used it in that video, and I think the foundation, it's the kind that's like a cream to powder. I think it would be better for dry skin because as the day went on, I think my skin was just too oily for it. So, Brooke's actually been using it, and she loves it. So, I was telling Galit that owns this company, you know, about the things, and I told her I loved all those face highlighters and stuff, but sometimes I just feel like I'm too old to be using those because I feel like sometimes it accents, you know, fine lines and stuff like that. So, she sent me some of her blushes. Oh, my eye is driving me crazy. It's like just shaking. But anyway, so she sent me three of her star blushes one of the cream blushes which i have on today and i love it i put it on with my regular blush brush so it wasn't one that was really oily matter of fact i used my blush brush the real techniques and then when i went to wipe it off on my brush cleaner napkin there wasn't even hardly any left so it came off really easy and which one was it it wasn't that one i've used these all week this is the cream blush in coral and it is gorgeous. All of these products are just gorgeous. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know. I would compare it to the Illamasqua Rude. I would just compare this consistency to the Illamasqua Cream Blushes. I mean, just really nice. So much better than the Stila and the NARS. Definitely. And what other cream blushes have I tried? The Bobbi Brown. The um, Chanel, I like them better. I like it better than all of those. Really, one of the best cream, the best scents I had the Illamasqua ones. And so I love that. And then I'm going to show you the other ones because I have used them all. This one is the Star Blush in Naples. And I don't know if you happen to see my picture yesterday on Instagram. This is what I had on. And I have worn this. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was this one. I've been wearing that one every day in conjunction with these. Okay, this is Milan. Beautiful. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be much here because it's kind of a muted, rosy color. I'm not sure. I'll put right here how it's described, but it looks so pretty on. And I like to take it and kind of go into my contour with it and the bronzer, and it is just beautiful. It's the most beautiful, rosy color. I mean, when I put it on the first time, I was just... I loved it. I couldn't wait to tell you guys about it. And then this is another one called Naples. And this one is a shimmer. And it is basically like a highlighter. And I have it on today. And what I've been doing is mixing this right over top of the blush. And just, it's not as shimmery as like the face powder. It's just perfect for, I thought, especially over the cream blush, it would kind of set it and then give it a little bit of shimmer. So that's what this is. 
And so I love all three of those. And I can honestly say if you want to try something from Girlactic, I have loved all of her products. My favorite are the lipsticks in Beautiful, Pretty, Naked, the Naked Gloss. These three um, blushes, and I may have to end up getting buying her other blushes, and then this. Last time she sent me her bronzer, she sent me the lighter one, which I believe was Cabo or something. So this time I told her I wanted to try Casablanca because Sherry Curry is always saying how much she loves this. I have been using this every day instead of my the Makeup Forever, the um, Makeup Forever Duo Matte. I've been using this in place of it, and at first I thought there's no way I'm going to like anything as much as that Duo Matte, and I love it. It is a gorgeous bronzer and contour. All together, it just melts right in your skin. It probably is not as pigmented and not as orangey as that blush or that powder, so it's a different look. It's a cooler look, but I've enjoyed it. So I've been either using this or the matte, but I haven't used the makeup forever since I got this. It's gorgeous. And I've been still using the little kabuki brush and applying it the same way. It's very soft. It goes right onto my brush and I love it. So really, really, if you're interested in trying any of her products, I would say a bronzer, the naked lipstick, or the pretty, or the beautiful, and some of these blushes. That that's my favorite so far okay and so i think that's it so now i want to show you some special things that i got this okay, week so i thought i would go back. ahead and do my outfit of the day and then i can show you the clothes that i got this week and um show you something else that i was sent and remember last week when i told you i had my mother Lucy boyfriend jeans on. I tell you they were my favorite. I said so far that is because I knew that she had ordered these. I have been wanting these jeans forever. Probably for months. And she kept saying they were on order on order and you know I tried to I wanted to buy them from her from Oliver and anyway she finally got them in and they are the Citizens of Humanity Corey slouchy they're let's see i don't know if they're even i don't know if they're considered boyfriend jeans i've seen them written as boyfriend jeans and then i've seen them written as slouch jeans but that is what's so fabulous about these jeans okay this is a sweater remember i got this at forever 21 it's the first time i've worn it and i love it it feels so good perfect so these jeans i had to go down a size so these are 26s and they're meant to be kind of slouchy and um, that's why I didn't wear a belt. I felt like it went with that. And then the pockets kind of go down like that. And I love the color. The color of this, I think I just saw is bourbon. And then this is what's so special about these is I love the, it's kind of like the real worn in look and oh, they're just, they're so soft and just worn in. And then you can wear them like this, you know, rolled up the typical boyfriend style. And these are my Kate Spade licorice um, black suede pumps. And I don't know if you remember that picture I showed you that I wanted to copy that look. So I figured this was the perfect way to do this. And so I just, I don't know if I've ever loved a boyfriend jean or a jean like this. I mean, they fit so good. They're so soft. I just think they're really cool looking. And then I want to show you another way you can wear them that i think is really cool too these are the right. shoes that i had on the other day when i went to go try them on and uh and you'll see when you look up these jeans you'll see sometimes they're rolled up and then sometimes they're worn straight down i've even seen them advertised as straight legs which i think is hey bubba is <laughs> basically what they are but i love even how good they look with boots i think they're just the perfect you know length and style and especially if you have like some short fry boots or something like that and uh, I just love them so she is doing again her 20% off of these jeans which they are expensive but I if you only got one pair of jeans of course I know you should have gotten those other two but I would get these jeans and I want you to know that I do not make a penny off it's not one of those codes where I make any money off of whatever you buy. I don't even know what goes on. 
it's purely for you, purely a 20% off code and has nothing to do with me except for it's for my subscribers because she is thankful that you guys order from her and I love them. I'm just was so excited. I sent, matter of fact, last, if I can, I'll put it at the end of this video. I was trying them on last night and sent my friend Elizabeth some pictures. And um, so this is that. I'm excited. Can you take right back with the other things that I bought? I apologize for not having my rack here, but with all of my faux fur purchases, my rack is just holding all of my coats right now. So I got this from Oliver, and the brand is one of those, Mink Pink. And it was 62, it's called the Dash T, and I got it in medium, and I love it. I think it is so cool. I think it's so year round too. I can wear this with a pencil skirt. I can wear it with like the jeans I have on today. But I love the stripes and I love the way stripes look under a black moto jacket. And so as soon as I saw it, I thought, yes, that would be really cool and different. It would also look good with a red skirt. There's just so many things you could do with this. You really need, everybody needs a striped shirt, I think. And then this was something that Brianna had on. I don't know if it was this one, but it was one of these in one of her haul videos and I loved it. And there's kind of like a little history. We, when I was little, it's a big joke. I told my mom that our family was the flannel shirt family because we used to go to my grandmother's every, her, her mom's every weekend, especially in the winter time to eat um, lunch after church and everybody would get undressed and you know just kind of put your flannel shirt on and that makes sense it would be the winter because usually in the summer I was at my other grandparents but so I have always loved flannel shirts this one is a little bit different it's more expensive it's the rails and Oliver just started carrying this and it's the medium and it feels so nice and something else that um, I don't know if you guys saw it but in the J Crew magazine one of the girls was wearing a flannel shirt like this with a bunch, like one of those big funky strings of pearls. And I looked at how much they were. You had to order online. They were $500 for that faux thing of pearls, which I think is kind of crazy. So I'm going to just kind of bunch up my pearls that I have on here. It just looked so good. Just that combination of the plaid and the pearls but let me tell you what this is made of because it's made out of something different it's really not flannel it's got that heavy nice drape sure. to it let me see it. hand wash hang to dry oh my goodness okay oh it's from made in los angeles uh made with the highest fabric oh goodness i don't know let me see okay it's rayon that's why when it said hand wash that's what i figured Probably what I will do is wash it in the gentle cycle and then just hang it over one of my chairs or something to dry. So these are the two tops that I got and I love them both. I think they're good. I'm just going to keep the light on. Um, I've got my Christmas present. Okay, I've got two things. Let me see how long this video is. For one, I got a huge box. I don't know if you saw on my Instagram, but I got a huge box of the most beautifully wrapped gifts from Yvette beauty by miss outlaw yesterday she sent everyone in the family a gift including bridget <laughs> the kitty cats and um i haven't opened them yet and i was kind of thinking about opening mine to show you but i thought i would just wait till the kids come home and we could open them and when i do a video this week and or the next video that i do i will show you what she gave me so thank you yvette i just wanted to wait till the kids to open them and um so, and then I'm going to show you, I got my Christmas present from John this week, and he asked me, did I want to wait to show you, but the thing is, I will probably wear them before I get to show them to you at Christmas, so I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. So, but before that, I want to show you something that was sent to me. There's my big boy. Oh, he is the sweetest thing. He is just, him and Bridget are my heart. Not that I don't love Chanel and Sassy, but you know what I mean. He's just extra attached to me. But um, one of my subscribers, her name is Zeb, she has been one of my best supporters for years, just commenting, and she's bought several things from my online store, and just, you know, love her. Best, really good support. She sent me a message when I, I was showing, like, all of my faux furs that her son-in-law and daughters own spirit hoods in California and I had heard of them because they sell them 
or I knew it was like a fad thing. Sorry, my computer just went down. I had heard Brooke talk about them and I had seen them, you know, I knew that they were just like really cool and in. And she wanted to know, would I like to try one of some, one of his products and their products from Spirit Hoods for Brooke and I to pick out something. So we were so excited and hers came the first day and then mine came, I think two days ago. But what she picked out is the, this is like the traditional Spirit Hood. And what I want to, I read about this this morning because I really want to get it right. It's all of this is geared towards helping endangered animals. And they send 10% of their profits to help endangered animals. And if you go on their website, you can see the list of the specific ones that they help. They've um, received PETA awards. They're really into, I know a lot of you are animal lovers and I love supporting companies that are here in the USA because so much is sent out of the country these days. and. I just love it but this is the black cat and a lot of them have like a different design in here but i was so brooke picked this one i was so happy because i thought you know that's something that she'll be able to wear a long time but the funny story is when i first got this i opened it and john was here because he's been off and chanel had just come in to and every time i've gotten the bad habit of when chanel comes in giving her a couple treats and she will not it doesn't matter if it's one two three hours later if you have not given her treats she will remember so i went in there to give her treats and i just thought about putting this on and <laughs> i her back went like this as she backed up and growled at me and ran off but um so this it's got the hand warmers and it is so well made and then it's got this you know i'm not scared to put this on so and it just oh my gosh it is, feels so good so if you live in really cold weather brooke said that the kids at her school even just wear them like over like this i've been making her wait to wear it it's still got the tag on it because i wanted to show you guys but oh, i just love it we are in love with it she's been wearing it all around so the house thank and I'm you so much for sending that to me to spirit hoods and um let me see, I'm making sure there's nothing. When you purchase from Spirit Hoods, it says, We give back. With every purchase of Spirit Hood, donates 10% of the net profits to the conservation of endangered animals. And um, so now, let me show you what I picked for hey, myself. No right surprise, back. I picked the leopard coat. And this is, it says, Leopard Intelligent Free Leader, made in Los Angeles. And it has the um, year Spirit Hoods. Okay, this makes all the other faux furs that I have gotten just as my dad would say Mickey Mouse <laughs> like I mean they are this is so thick and well made if you live like in Canada or I mean like in some of the really really cold cold places this would be so awesome and it's going to get cold here this weekend but it is so nice and look at this I love it. I just got it. It is beautiful, beautiful. And then it hooks, it buttons, has really nice, it came button, has really nice, pretty buttons. And I saw a coat like this um, on, I think it was ASOS or H&M or one of those that had the black with the hood. And I loved it. And so this just like fits right in. So you put the hood on, it just has real cute little ears. I just love it. So isn't that gorgeous? And it is just so substantial. I mean, it is really, really nice. And oh God, when I'm talking, it's like I'm in a auditorium in here. So thank you so much for sending this to me. I just love it. And um, I will put their link down below, of course, and let you see it up close. They had a bunch of neat ones too. They have like a snow leopard and a wolf and just all kinds of neat stuff. And I just think the hood with the little ears just gives it that much more character. And you guys know I love funky stuff like this. It's just everything I love like wrapped up into one. I wanted to show you the inside of it too. It's got like the really nice lined inside. Oh, it's just so nice. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is what John got me for Christmas. He always, well, he didn't always, but usually what I get is a pair of shoes. And, you know, that's what I love. I've bought 
something just came this morning and um, it was for, he said something from Dillard's. I said, oh, that's somebody's, I don't want to say who in case they're watching, but somebody's shoes. I have bought, let's see, one, two, three, four. I bought my mom a pair of fry boots that she picked out. Um, so she knows about that. But I think I have bought like five, not counting Brooke. I don't know how many pairs of shoes I've bought her. I've bought a bunch of shoes. I love even giving shoes. So that's like my thing. And the first pair he bought me were the Stuart Weitzman Highland boots in Topo, Tope. And I was going to wear those to his Christmas party. Well, they came and we could have done, sometimes I wish that I had like a hidden camera or a camera in here to record some of the things that go on. But that was hilarious, me trying on those boots. They go on like a pair of tights and they fit, but in order to get all of the wrinkles out of like the, cause they go over the knee, which I kept for some reason, you know how men are like one little thing, they were like key in on it. Well, he was just keyed in on those wrinkles. He wanted that pair of boots to be I told him, I said, John, they're kind of like that. You know, they can't be straight. So he kept getting me to pull them up and tie them tighter. That little bow thing in the back. Well, Brooke's going, I don't like that bow. I don't like that bow in the back. And so then, <laughs> then when I tied them tighter, every time I looked in the mirror, all I could see was my leg like squishing over it, you know. So bottom line, I sent those back. And then I was looking at, I think I was looking at, Yolanda Foster's Instagram and I came across a picture a beautiful picture of her in a blue dress and a pair of nude heels And I just loved them and I was like, you know, I want a pair of housewife heels a good old pair of platform Pumps, you know nude that I love and so I sent the picture to Safu the guy that helps me at Saks and he said those look like the Jimmy Choo Cosmic. He said, they're on sale. Let me see if we have your size. Well, of course, he didn't have my size. My size is a 38 and 8. And um, so I was so bummed. I looked everywhere. There was a couple pair on eBay, but I was scared to get them because, you know, I want to be able to send them back if they didn't fit. And so I ended up, my friend Nadine told me, well, look at these. And they are the Jimmy Choo Alex patent. And those, I wanted to tell you too, the Cosmic is on in on sale everywhere. It's on sale even on the Jimmy Choo website. So I was thinking, what is going on? Because I knew that was one of their basic shoes. You know, that like the Louboutin Pigalle or the Manolo BB. It's just one of their main shoes. Well, what I think they're doing is going over to this, which is the Alex um, platform pump. And these are in nude. And I ordered these from Nordstrom. And they came yesterday. And they are gorgeous it's the almond toe so they're not too round not too pointy just a good like almond toe and a good platform just a beautiful shoe I mean gorgeous and I ordered the 38 because I had read that you need to get them tight because you don't want you really don't want to get a pair of shoes you know, so that they're comfortable right in the beginning because what will happen is your heel will end up slipping. And even when I put these on, you can see my toes kind of through here. You can see that they're going to stretch. So these aren't for someone who um, is new at high heels because otherwise when you first put them on, you will think that they don't fit. But if you're used to breaking in a pair of high heels, you know what I mean. You put them on, they're kind of tight, but it's the kind that are going to work in and be perfect after you know my ears are um i've had a cold this week that's been another thing and my ears are popping i thought it was that coat but i think it's just my ears are kind of clogged up today because i can kind of hear myself talk which is scary but um so anyway i love them when i put them on i just they're kind of like the kind you just fall in love with and as soon as john saw him he was in the kitchen i walked over there he was like yeah i mean he will tell me right off the bat and he was talking about how super sexy they are. The color is gorgeous. I just love them. And you guys know how much I love my Stuart Weitzman Nouveau. So that is my Christmas gift from John. And I will put the link to these down below just so you can find them. Um, they're pretty much everywhere, but the Nordstrom is where I got them. So is that it? I'm not like that isn't enough. And I just don't want to miss anything. And like I said, I will show you Yvette's gifts um, tomorrow or the next time I make a video and I was thinking when I put my shampoo and stuff up since I have two bottles of that hair oil 
I want to give one of those away to one of my subscribers, one of you guys. And I don't want to make a big deal, big old contest deal out of it. Um, just what I'll do is leave a comment below, just any comment you want to. It doesn't have to be a, um, <laughs> it doesn't have to be anything great or I don't want you to give me a compliment or anything. Just a comment below. And the next time I do a video, whenever it may be, before that, I will get one of the kids or something. We will pick a random winner, and I'll announce it on my next video, whether it's tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. And um, I'll give that bottle away because it'll take forever for me to go through two bottles of that. And um, so I've already told you about my nail polish. My ring is my Sheila Fajal cigar band ring, and I do think I actually have a couple of these um, on my website. I'm not sure what sizes they are, but this is an awesome ring just because it's so easy. And oh, my earrings, I just put in my big pearls. I think they're Ralph Lauren. And that is it. So I've got to get out of here. John went into work for a little while, even though he's off. That's what he does. He's Whenever he's off, he ends up going in to help somebody and ends up getting stuck in there all day. And I've got a, I was thinking of trying to wear these today, but I am going to wheel school for the Christmas party in his class. And so these would probably not go over real well. <laughs> So I'll probably just keep on these boots that I have. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Um, I hope that you are having a great Christmas season. And I'm just so thankful for all of you. I really am. And um, as my eye twitches, I will see you later. I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.